In Sprinkler, while working with any entity like a message, customer profile, or case, there's always a need to store metadata or some properties for that entity. And that's where Sprinkler custom fields come into play. Custom fields are key value pairs that are stored for each entity like a message, profile, or case. They're used to define specific properties for each entity. Custom fields allow you to tag various assets and bucket them into similar categories. When talking about assets, in this sense, we mean not only media assets, but also users, messages, campaigns, tasks, and so on. Let's look at how to create custom fields in Sprinkler. From the custom fields list, you can see all existing fields. You may notice that for a few, you can't turn off the status as they're pre-configured into the system. Click Add Custom Field. You'll need to choose a field type. There are a few to choose from, but the most common are single select list and multiple select list. Let's say you want to create a field to tag outbound messages with the author of the message. Add author as the name and select outbound message as the asset. Then you need to add the values that will appear in this pick list, which you can do manually or as for this example, use what's already in the system. Select users as the source of value and then add any users which could be a post author. You can also choose the order the values will appear in and whether the field will have a pre-selected value. Next, you can set the field visibility by user groups or other filters. And lastly, you can set certain configurations such as whether the field is mandatory and where in the outbound message list of properties this field will appear. For more information about custom fields, check out the knowledge base for a deeper dive including how-to guides.